it's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Welcome me back. I'm the one that's been lacking. So I apologize, of course, and I'm ready to get this year started, this decade started. And you know, 2019 was a rough one, dude. How was yours? I don't know about you, but it was a rough one, rough one, but it also was a great one. I learned a lot. I grew a lot. And I'm so excited for the future. And that's what I've been needing. Um, I am going to have a separate video, just like a 2019 in review type thing. So please tune in to check up on me and catch up and we can catch up together and um, just share our peaks and pits of the year. You know, no shaming. We're all friends here. So don't be afraid to brag in the comments and um, please like, subscribe and share. And I will be on here more consistently. I'm going to dedicate... Um, a consistent weekly upload so you guys know when to tune in and um, it keeps me accountable and challenges me so I will be posting that soon um, yeah so let's jump into this so I'm doing this look as you can see today I was actually inspired by the lovely um, Dupsy Glam on Instagram I don't know if you can see that I have a screen protector on my phone um, but I love the, her look and um, I knew I was wearing something like this that sort of matches this type of feel so I went ahead and recreated it so if you are interested in seeing how I recreated her look make sure to go follow her page um, and follow mine as well while you're on Instagram and um, keep watching to see how I created this look all right, so as usual, I still am starting by doing my eyebrows. It just gives me, um, like, I don't know, just always it's the most important for me to start with that first and structure my look around it versus doing that and then adding it later. It's just my preference. My skin sort of looks like it's going through something. My eyebrows need to be done, but that's the power of makeup. You are behind on your cleanups. Honestly, I haven't been going that often. I usually can just clean them up myself and makeup do the rest. Green juice break. Me some energy, you know, get back in the good vibes of filming. I miss you guys. I'm so sorry. I had a lot going on, which I'm going to share in another video, like the 2019 review. So make sure to tune in if you're interested. I keep looking down here too because I also changed, and I think it's going to change again. Hopefully it does because I think this is not going to work. Um, my like filming setup. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work like this. And can you guys let me know if you'd rather have a backdrop behind me or, cause I film in my room right now um, until we buy a bigger house and I have a filming room. Let's not go there cause I, I feel like we've really outgrown this house. Um, but let me know if you guys like the backdrop better or um, you're okay like seeing my room in the background because I sort of am like indifferent on how I feel about both of them. Um, but if you like the backdrops better, I just need to invest in it and make it an easier process, a better setup. I had more lighting planned today but ran into some technical difficulties so that is going to be updated but um as for the backdrop itself let me know your thoughts all right so let's move on to um priming our eye i'm going to do the eye look first and then I'll throw on my face and come back and chat with you guys and just go over the look. I'm trying to 
find my little palette because I'm just gonna have to directly apply. Sometimes I like to mix the concealer and I'm going to actually use the eyeshadow primer today, which I don't always use. Um, sometimes I like to mix them before applying them, but I guess we'll just mix it on the eye this time. That was both Morphe concealer and now this is Morphe eyeshadow primer as well. You sort of just want to set that in. The whole point of a primer is just like for better pigmentation and also the longevity of your makeup. So for me, I sort of do this like double application thing sometimes if I need to make sure the makeup is both what I just said, pigmented and stays. So even though I just put this primer on, I'm still gonna set it with just my translucent powder for now. And then if I come, when I come back to the actual eyeshadow, I'm going to put a little like dab of the primer again. Because if it's ever on like a moist or like a wet surface, it sort of shows up better. The translucent powder makes it blend better. So for the outer colors, that will be more blend. All of it will be blended, but you know, the little fade effect. That's why I like the translucent powder. Okay, so let's start in on this look. So I am going to do like... The look I showed you guys, it was really cute when I came across it. So I was like, I'm going to shout out um, the person I found it from and try to recreate that look for me today. So this is where I said I was going to add a little bit more of that primer, at least here on the bottom, because that's where the lighter color is going. And I really want that white slash light, light, light nude to show up well. So I'm dipping into the white first. For that white to show up that good, that's all the primer. Cause I only did one little dip into it. And it's fully pigmented. Normally, if it's not pigment, I mean, primed with the primer, it, you would need like a couple of coats. So I'm going to use the Morphe 350 palette that's just full of nudes, you know, one of my faves. Um, and I'm going to play with the ones that I think that I need, but the lightest, the first three lightest I think would be a good transition once and I pack once I pack in the color I will of course use a blending brush to like blend it better now I'm just like blending it together with a brush that doesn't have anything on it. We'll go back to that once we get done adding the deeper crease colors. Because I'm sure we'll freshen it. We'll need to freshen it up a little bit more. I'm using the Jaclyn Hill color agent because it's just like a good camel slash neutral for me. And then we'll deepen it. The reason I did like the white first is I always feel like it's a natural transition if you go from your inner to your outer and it just gives you less work later. But like I said, we will still have to like go back and like refresh it anyway so it really is just up to you on how you want to approach it so let's deepen this a little bit not a lot just a little and I think I'm going to go ahead and deepen it with something in the 350 maybe a combination of these two 
just want like some structure. I don't really want it too smoky. all this fallout I don't know if you can see it but that's another reason why I wanted to do my eyes before my face that's why I usually do it that way all the time just so I don't have to be like careful and just throw it on clean up later and go all right and now we're gonna go back and add some of those light colors so they Make sure it pops and the rest of the eye doesn't take over the look. Might add, before I do that, I might add a little bit darker shade. Just for that crease to pop a slight bit. I don't have a big crease, so I sort of have to exaggerate it. blend and transition okay so now let's go ahead and do the liner now that we cleaned up and finished the blending I um, got this for Christmas in a small little like travel it's the Stila um, it was like liner and a little um, travel mascara I really ended up liking both of these products so I think I will go ahead and buy them in full packaging this is so precise and I've used it a good four or five times so far it hasn't ever like run out of like ink you know I usually don't buy pins for liquid liner because I feel like it's hard to determine how long it's actually gonna stay wet and like drag easily and how much products actually in there but because of how precise this is and how great it's been and how dark the ink is and matte it is I think I might have to go ahead and like do it so well I gotta stop talking and focus I just almost freaked everything out so let me focus I always pull away when I blink So I'm not the best at liner. I have an astigmatism in this eye, which is obviously hard with liner. And um, I have glasses, but I don't have contacts right now. So can't do makeup with glasses on. Um, so how I do my wing liner, because I have that almost like disability, is I always just do the line first and then I'll do the wing on each eye and try to like match it as best as possible. So I start in the corner here, drag that out. And it's always good if you do have a liner like this because you can just basically lay it down and that will create the line for you. And then lay it down this way and it will connect the line. Then just connect it to the liner you already had laying down. So this one needs to be cleaned up a tiny bit, but we can do that later. The biggest thing for me is making sure they match their angle and point. So I didn't want it going up too high. I didn't want it too dramatic.
So I did blend like pretty heavy, heavily up here and I always like to have my brow like extra defined. So I'm gonna go back and do some defining. So I'm going to put the lashes on after this and I'll come back with my face done so you can see the final look. All right, so I'm going to be finishing up with, of course, mascara on the bottom. While I was baking and doing my hair, I did add a white and black liner to the bottom. And so now we just need mascara. So this Stila mascara is nice, like I was saying, I really like it, but this brush is so chunky, so I'm being really careful. I'm not the best at mascara anyway, because I don't have a lot of lashes. All right, guys, that's the finished look. Let me know what you think. I had fun with it, I missed it. It goes with my little oversized shirt that I'm loving, 90s vibes going on. Like, this girl is happy, but yeah. Guys, thanks for sticking in there with me. I truly appreciate it, you have no idea. Um, and my t word for 2020 is execution. And the reason that is, is I have all of the things up and running now. Now it's just time to execute. That means being consistent on here with you guys and bringing you guys some awesome content. So stick around, invite a friend and your family, and let's be excited for the new year. So let's pop some champagne. Let's do a toast to 2020, the new year, the new decade, and all of the new opportunities that we are going to capture and make the most out of. I'm speaking it for you and for me, and I receive it and you guys receive it. I want you guys to have a blessed future, year, decade, whatever you wanna be hoping for. Um, and yeah, reap all that you've sown. I'm really scared. Sam's about to get here, maybe I can ask him. Sam! Can you pop this for me? I'm scared. Don't hit me. Woohoo! Okay. <gasps> it's leaking, it's leaking. All right, here we go. Cheers to 2020, guys. See ya next time. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, share with a friend if they would be interested in learning this look. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.